When you and I are growing up, right in grade school, we learn from our teachers that starfish can regenerate, salamanders can regenerate, but people can't regenerate, yeah. right? You can't Wrong. grow a new arm. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. You can't grow a new arm, but we do regenerate. We yeah. regenerate every day. Hey there, fellow longevity enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the wild world of stem cells and how to keep them popping like champagne on New Year's Eve. And who better to guide us than the man, the myth, the stem cell guru himself, Dr. William Lee. Now, if you haven't heard of Dr. Lee, let me give you the skinny. This guy's like the Elon Musk of the health world, minus the rockets and flamethrowers. He's all about using the power of food to unlock the secrets of living longer and healthier. He's a renowned physician, researcher, and author, with books like Eat to Beat Disease and The New Science of Living Longer under his belt. So basically, he's the Dumbledore of nutritional wisdom. There's a medical revolution happening all around us, and it's one that's gonna help us conquer some of society's most dreaded conditions, including cancer. And the revolution is called angiogenesis. According to Dr. Lee, angiogenesis helps deliver oxygen and nutrients to your cells while also removing waste products. It's like the Uber Eats of your bloodstream, except it's delivering health instead of burgers. In detail, angiogenesis is the physiological process through which new blood vessels are formed from pre-existing vessels. This process is crucial for various normal physiological functions such as embryonic development, wound healing, and the menstrual cycle. However, it also plays a significant role in diseases like cancer, diabetic retinopathy, and rheumatoid arthritis. But wait, there's more. Dr. Lee isn't just about blood vessels. He's also a fan of stem cells. So we, our bodies possess the ability to regenerate through stem cells. Stem cells are like the superheroes of your body. They can transform into different types of cells and help repair damaged tissues. Think of them as your body's own little repair crew, ready to fix anything that goes wrong. So why are stem cells so darn important for a long, healthy life? Well, according to Dr. Lee, they're like the maintenance workers in your body's theme park. Without them, things start falling apart faster than a roller coaster made of spaghetti. But enough about Dr. Lee's resume. Let's get to the good stuff, the drinks. According to the good doctor himself, there are three magical elixirs that can help kickstart your stem cells into high gear and have you living longer than a tortoise on a slow day. And make sure to stay until the end of the video, because at the end I'll tell you the two worst drinks that destroy your stem cells and that you should avoid at all costs. Without avoiding them, even the best top three drinks won't do you any good. So let's get to the good things first. First up on the stem cell train, green tea and black tea. Green tea will increase your stem cells, but guess what? So can black tea. You know, people in Asia drink a lot of tea. People in Britain drink a lot of tea as well. Yeah. We used to say green tea's good, black tea's fermented, so it's not gonna be that good for you. We're changing our minds. We have to keep our minds open. Dr. William Lee advocates for the consumption of green and black tea because they contain compounds called polyphenols, particularly epigallocatechin galatae, EGCG, which have been studied for their potential health benefits, including their effects on stem cells. Polyphenols are powerful antioxidants that help protect cells from damage caused by free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can contribute to aging and disease. Additionally, studies have suggested that polyphenols like EGCG may have anti-inflammatory properties and could potentially support the body's natural processes, including stem cell function. Green and black tea are rich sources of these polyphenols, with green tea typically containing higher levels of EGCG compared to black tea. Therefore, Dr. Lee recommends incorporating green and black tea into your diet as part of a balanced and healthy lifestyle to support overall well-being and potentially enhance stem cell function. Next stop on the Stem Cell Express, hot chocolate hilarity. Who knew that indulging in a cozy cup of cocoa could also be a one-way ticket to longevity town? <laughs> the darker the chocolate, the higher the flavanols. These are the bioactives that are naturally present in cacao. Dr. Lee says the flavonoids in chocolate can help boost your stem cells like a rocket ship fueled by marshmallows. In cacao, which is a bean, which then you process to actually get, you know, kind of the cocoa powder. Um, if you take the really dark chocolate, like 73% cacao, the really dark chocolate, and you make it into a high flavanol hot chocolate drink, and you have it twice a day. This was the clinical study they found in people who wound up actually having um, uh, 
drinking the hot chocolate twice a day over the course of a month, they doubled the number of stem cells compared to the people who didn't drink hot chocolate, right? Number three on our drink list, pomegranate juice. This crimson elixir is packed with antioxidants and vitamins, making it a stem cell superhero in a bottle. Plus, it's like drinking a delicious grenade of health straight to the face. Dr. William Lee has spoken about the health benefits of pomegranate juice, particularly due to its high antioxidant content. Um, here's what's in the juice. It's got something called elagitanins. These are bioactives that can do a lot of great things. One of the things they do is actually they can cut off the blood supply to tumors so they can starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. But the other thing that they do is they improve your gut health by helping to grow a bacteria called acromancia. Pomegranates are rich in polyphenols, including flavonoids and tannins, which contribute to their vibrant color and potential health-promoting properties. Some of the potential health benefits of pomegranate juice that Dr. Lee may discuss or endorse include 1. Antioxidant properties. Pomegranate juice is known to be a potent source of antioxidants, which help protect cells from damage caused by harmful free radicals. Antioxidants may help reduce inflammation and lower the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease and cancer. 2. Heart health. Studies have suggested that pomegranate juice consumption may have positive effects on heart health. It may help lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels, and reduce the risk of atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries. 3. Anti-inflammatory effects. Pomegranate juice contains compounds that have been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic inflammation is linked to various health conditions, so consuming foods and beverages with anti-inflammatory properties like pomegranate juice may be beneficial for overall health. 4. Potential cancer prevention. Some research indicates that the antioxidants in pomegranate juice may help inhibit the growth of cancer cells and reduce the risk of certain types of cancer, including breast and prostate cancer. Overall, Dr. William Lee may emphasize incorporating pomegranate juice into a balanced diet as part of a strategy to promote overall health and longevity, thanks to its antioxidant-rich profile and potential health benefits. Okay, as promised, now that we've talked about the three greatest stem cell drinks, here are the two drinks that Dr. William Lee says you should avoid at all costs. The first one is alcohol. Now I know what you're thinking. What's wrong with a little happy hour now and then? Well, according to Dr. Lee, alcohol can wreak havoc on our bodies in more ways than one. What can injure stem cells? You know, um, high doses of alcohol can damage and blunt your stem cells. So you I'm know? okay with the one tequila I had last night? You know, uh, uh, <laughs> having a tequila every now and then is not bad, having a glass of wine. But you know, it's it's the, 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 the thing is on balance. From liver damage to increased cancer risk, it's like inviting the Joker to your bloodstream party. Sorry, but that fancy cocktail just became a one-way ticket to Trouble Town. Next on the chopping block, sugar-sweetened beverages. Ah, oh, sugar-sweetened beverages, the liquid equivalent of a sweet, sugary kiss from a candy factory. They're like the siren song of the soda aisle, beckoning you with promises of fizzy delight and instant gratification. But hold on to your stem cells and buckle up for a wild ride, because we're about to dive into why these sugar bombs might not be your ticket to longevity. High blood sugar cripples our stem cells. So the excess of anything can be harmful Sugar-sweetened beverages are basically like throwing a wild party for your blood sugar levels. They spike faster than a startled cat and come crashing down like a house of cards in a tornado. And while you're riding this blood sugar roller coaster, your poor stem cells are over there trying to chill out and do their job of repairing and rejuvenating your body. But with all that sugar chaos going on, they're like a bunch of stressed out lifeguards trying to keep the pool safe during a hurricane. So if you want to give your stem cells a fighting chance, and increase your odds of living long enough to see flying cars and robot butlers become a reality. Maybe skip the sugar-sweetened beverages and opt for something a little less chaotic. And there you have it, folks. Dr. William Lee's stem cell shenanigans do's and don'ts in liquid form. Remember, the key to a long and healthy life is not just what you drink, but how you enjoy every sip. Until next time, stay thirsty for knowledge and keep those stem cells partying like it's 1999. If you liked the video, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription to my channel. Until then, stay curious and see you in the next video.